Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and I know there isn't an intro on this video cause I don't want to mess the video orientation again which I had no idea how to get it right if I were to slot my intro in. Anyways, let's get into it. Maze Machina is a strategy board indie game developed by Arnold Rowers, an exceptional individual who made a few decent indie games that I doubt most of you have ever heard of. As usual, the games produced by him are really polished and great for killing free times. In Maze Machina, basically you are a blue mouse captured by a robot as a subject to test against his minions or henchmen, depends on how you like to call it. The goals are simple and yet fun. Escape to the next floor and that's about it. It doesn't matter whether you kill all the robots or not, as more of you respawn as you cut them down. Just grab the key and head over to the exit and that's how you win the game. The game itself are accommodated with some great artworks and mechanics like different weapons and gadgets to be grabs as you stood on each different tiles. While each of them has their different uses and range, the gadgets and weapons only grew more as you proceed through the game. I'm not even joking, I'm at 10 plus or 20 floors now I can't really remember and once a while I still get to unlock some weapon spells or gadgets. There are three modes in this game, Normal, which is the one with Story or Draft, which enables the player to change the game rules every time they consume a food, and lastly, Limit, where the players are only limited to 250 turns while there is no food for the player. All these modes have 15 levels and there is no continue once you are dead, except the Normal mode of course. But the other two modes doesn't come entirely free as the developer asked for a small fee of $2-$3 to $3 to purchase the full game or watch a minute of ads. The weapons, spells and gadgets are really too much to go into while I hadn't unlocked most of them myself but anyways I do recommend you guys to play a decent amount of normal modes before going into the other two modes. There isn't much complaint of this game either at this point. I'm really impressed by the quality of it and hopes to see more feature or modes added into the game in the future, or even enable us to play against another player. And that's it for me, hope you guys like this video and subscribe if you are new here. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it and I will see you guys in the next one.